Faced with an ongoing global economic crisis, political minds and public opinion seem to be easily diverted from the environment. But nature has its ways of reminding us that global warming, for example, hasn't taken a crisis leave. Die Kassen sind leer und sag mal, wir haben eine Mangelverwaltung und gerade in Europa diskutieren wir jeden Tag über die Schuldenkrise. Vollkommen klar. Wir dürfen aber nicht außer Acht lassen, dass wir in eine Klimakrise starten. Die Welt wird jetzt nicht sofort untergehen. Aber Klimawandel und Klimaanpassungsmaßnahmen werden viel, viel Geld kosten, die Reparaturen. The United Nations annual climate summit will start in the Qatari capital Doha in two weeks time. Parliament's Environment Committee is busy preparing for it. Climate Action Commissioner Connie Hedegaard joined Monday's session with breaking news. The EU will suspend its planned European aviation carbon trading because an international framework now seems possible. This is the right way to go and I also hope now when we are in this hearing, when we know that the Commission is, is, is planning to tighten and the, the emission trading targets. I think we should also take this into account and say that unilateral actions are just stupid. Trying to put climate action on a broad international basis remains one of the foremost challenges, with the biggest emitters of greenhouse gases still not committed to the only legally binding document, the Kyoto Protocol. It's clear that for a number of countries they are looking for ways to hide, not to move forward. And that is definitely what countries like the US and China and others are doing. They say, well, the EU is even not moving forward, so why would we even consider it? I think the EU needs to show a common vision and take leadership again. Parliament will discuss its strategies for the climate summit during next week's plenary session.